seasonably warm for at least the past few days. We're almost 10 degrees above normal where we should be. But that's not going to last for too much longer as we've got much cooler air moving into the area. But first, we've got to deal with at least a couple more days of very warm conditions. So we're looking at the muggies continuing across the area with lots of sunshine across the state, which is going to be nice. The only downside is it's going to be very, very muggy. But check this out, a taste of fall. What is that? Well, we've got a cold front headed towards the area in the next few days. It's going to be bringing much cooler weather behind it. Temperatures across the region right now, fairly warm. We're seeing 86 in Jackson, 88 in Tupelo, 85 in Birmingham, 91 off in Shreveport, and 86 degrees in New Orleans. I wanted to show you a little bit of what dew points look like out there right now. 71 in Jackson, 73 in New Orleans. Now remember, if dew points get above 70 degrees, it's very, very uncomfortable outside. So again, 71 in Jackson, so it's very, very muggy. 73 in New Orleans. Again, dew points indicate how much moisture is in the air. So you would probably assume that's where we're seeing the rainfall today. That is where we're seeing all of the rainfall off the Louisiana coast, just south of the New Orleans area. Now you may be asking, why is that moving east to west? I thought our weather moved west to east. Well, it normally does. The reason this rainfall is moving in this direction is because of Tropical Storm Stan. Tropical Storm Stan is located way off towards the south, just west of the Yucatan Peninsula. It will not be affecting our weather, just extreme eastern portions of Texas and southern Florida. In our area, we're looking at sunny conditions, partly cloudy to mostly sunny across the area. We've got a little bit of a stalled out front stretching across northern Florida. This is our weather maker. We're looking at high pressure right now off towards the east. This is bringing southerly winds into the area, helping to increase our moisture levels. Now, off towards the west, this is our next weather maker. You can barely see it on this map, but this is the cold front that I was just talking about. This is going to be approaching the area over the next few days, bringing much cooler fall-like temperatures into the area. As you'll notice, that high pressure system begins to push off towards the east by tomorrow, which is going to help cool us down just a little bit, but not much, only a degree or two. Once again, that cold front is pushing towards the area, give us just a very slight taste of fall. We're going to see much cooler temperatures behind that front. Temperatures into the 70s with overnight lows in the 50s.